If you don't got your wine or something that you like to sip on, your choice, baby, do you. But make sure you grab it and let's get going, okay? Just copy the flex. They waiting on my new shit to drop. Where the fuck the toilet at? Sleeping on me crazy shit. Y'all thought I wasn't gonna double back. This life shit here amazing. I'm thanking God for where the fuck I'm at. Don't call if it ain't about the rats. I don't fuck with all that chit chat. Hey, love. Welcome back to my channel. It's TG or Tiny Nima if you don't already know, but TG on here for sure, okay? So excited and I'm glad to be back doing a video. If you don't got your wine or something that you like to sip on, your choice, baby, do you? But make sure you grab it and let's get going, okay? So started that off with a little sip so today for my video i know it's been a minute i know it's been a minute so i'm like okay you know what this is what i'm gonna do i want to add a new series on my channel and it's basically gonna be called sipping session so for this this first sipping session i want to kick it off i wanted to do like i got a bowl right here and i got some questions in this bowl and I'm basically, we basically just going to be sipping, chatting it up. I was going to do it based off topics, but I didn't want it to get too carried away or just kind of be, I don't know. I did kind of have one main topic, but I also kind of wanted it, kind of wanted it to just flow, just flow good and keep going. So I got this bowl and I have some questions. Let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, so everybody grab their drinks and let's get to it. Throughout this video, I will be doing my little sip, but your girl also will be taking a little dip into something because this is why it's called sipping session. Um, yeah, so let's just do it that way. Keep it clean, but keep it cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go ahead and start this thing off. So okay, I'm about to go ahead and pick, pick, pick. Name something that taught you a lesson now, but not then. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Y'all, I basically did these questions at random. Like, I really didn't even think of answers or even give my time, myself time to think of answers. I just want to put this little PSA out there. But, um, yeah. I would say something that taught me a lesson now, but not then, is basically standing up for myself. I do feel like, um, I'm, and I'm still working on that to this day because that ties into me working on communication. But... Yeah, to keep it short and sweet, I'm going to just say standing up for myself in a sense because that's basically communicating your needs and what you want or don't like and things of that sort instead of just being passive or brushing it off. So that's a lesson. That is um, a lesson now, but not then. Something that taught me a lesson now, but not then. Let's do another one. Okay, these questions going to be good, y'all. I'm sitting here. I'm getting into it. Now it's like, okay, girl, slow down on the sip. Slow down on the slip. What era of your life are you in at the moment? Ooh, that's a good one. What era? Who up the lash? Cause... What era? Really, that's just really coming off the top of my head is just the no fucks given era. But, um... I'll say I'm more so, I'm in my feminine era. Okay, yeah, because that's deep, that's deep, that's deep. I'm in my feminine era. Learning how to be a fucking lady. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When did you discover yourself? Okay, I remember putting this one because I, I, I be giving this thought, but I never really, like, I don't know, just basically, like, talk about the journey, I guess you could say. But I feel like my self-discovery journey really started, I'll say deeply at the age of 16, because that's when I feel like I was really sure on what I wanted to do, I would say, as far as what I wanted to do, learning, also just learning how I want to dress, who I want to be, and just things of that sort so i'll say 16 is really it's between like 14 and 16 but i still feel like at 14 it's still i mean because you're always evolving but i just feel like it's still that unsure about personally what i want to do on my journey for myself 16 is when i discovered myself that's what i will say okay 
trying to look at Let's take a little sip. Sip to that. Cheers. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I um, shut these pants so tight, didn't I? What, um, what is my favorite genre of music? Ooh. Okay. So my favorite genre, okay, I don't really have a favorite genre. That's T, that's T. I don't have a favorite genre because I really like all types of music. I do not discriminate. So, but my favorite genre, yeah, I don't know. Cause I like hip hop. I like R&B. I like rap. Honey, I like me a little country. I, and then, um, was, I love the band Paramore. So I like a few little rock or a little band type deals. So yeah, I don't know. My favorite genre, I'm a pretty broad person and I'm getting into jazz. So yeah, just, I don't know. I love, I just love music in general. So that's a hard pick. What is my passion? Well, I feel like I have multiple passions, but to some uh, well, no. I'll, okay, to sum up my passion in two things, I'll say my passion is love and to love. Yes, to love and give love. And then I feel like my other passion, what I always say, it's more so like what I'm going to do type of deal, but to just, um, you know, uplift somebody from head to toe, style someone from head to toe, and just uplift their mind, body, spirit, all that. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gotta take a few hits. The sun setting. I might have to change. I might end up having to put my ring light up. Favorite musical artist. Okay. So if you know, you know. Kevin Gates is my man. Kevin Gates. I love Kevin Down. Okay, I'm going to name some more artists because Kevin, that's my man. Okay, my top three is Kevin. And I need to do male and female because I feel like my top three has been male for a long time. So, I'm trying to step into that female category. But, okay, so my top three favorite, Kevin Gates, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Top three. What about it? Yeah. That's that. <laughs> and then, okay, who else? I'm trying to thank some ladies. Let me just name some other people. I love Lola Brooke. Love Lotto Down. Um, who else do I love? Shea Universe. Uh, I don't know. I, just, I like a lot of artists. I need to do like a playlist video or something too. But yeah, that's my top three. I'm going to just say for the top three. Top three artists, Kevin Gates, J. Cole, Kendra Lamar. Let's do a little sip. I take these things shut so good and I'm still trying to figure out like, girl, you did the most. What is your favorite color? What is my favorite color? I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious. If you could look around, just take a second. It's green. Yes. And no, not because my last name is green. <laughs> I love the color green, but like, um, I really, I like black. I like, um, I don't know. I'm just start. I'm trying to get more into colors more, but I love green, but I wear a lot of black too as well. I love black, like black and green. Um, my favorite colors used to be like green, red, and blue, but now I think that's kind of changed. Cause now I think like my favorite color in general is just green, but, um, I do, I am stepping more into like colors and just trying to play with colors more. Describe yourself in three words. Woohoo! Okay. Describe myself in three words. Creative. Passionate. I'm going to say goofy. I was going to say loving, but I feel like loving kind of ties into the passionate, so I'm kind of going to let that slide. But I'm going to say creative, passionate, and goofy. I love a good laugh. I'm telling you, love a good laugh. <laughs> a good kiki. Okay. Honestly. Because what happened? <laughs> what is something you're working to improve? Ooh, okay. What is something I'm working to improve? 
Okay, a lot came to mind because <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of things to work on. But for the most part, what I would say for in general that it just all ties down to, I would just say consistent and being more feminine. My favorite movie. Ooh, favorite movie. Okay, favorite movie, favorite movie. Okay. I got a couple favorite movies. Okay, so Brown Sugar, Love and Basketball, and Just Right. Just Right, Love and Basketball, and Brown Sugar, those are my top three. Like, I love them down. Like I said, I'm a romantic comedy type of girl. I love a good laugh, but I also love love. And I'm getting into action, too. I love action, too. What keeps you grounded? Okay, it's a couple things that keep me grounded. Let me take a little sip. <laughs> I love going to the park if you know you know my family i feel like my family keeps me grounded too just being around my family loved ones so yeah i'm gonna say nature and just my loved ones and family and stuff like that keeps me grounded let's just say mj has never let me down either you know i can say that's pretty grounding as well we're gonna take a puff to that bad and bad we getting somewhere now we getting somewhere it's getting empty the bowl getting empty in what ways could you better in what ways could you better your self-care Ooh, that's a good one okay ways that i could better myself more this ties into the consistency because i feel like i can be more consistent with my self-care meaning like just giving myself masks more, showing myself more love, dancing more in the mirror, um, you know, just words of affirmation. When I think of self-care, that's just uplifting myself. I feel like that's way I feel like I can create a routine and make that consistent because, yes, that's something that I do daily, but I want to make sure that it's something that's always in my routine no matter what. So that ties into the just staying consistent with that. So ways I just feel like I can better just do a mask, love on yourself, you know, love on your body, dance in the mirror and just show some love. If you could only express yourself with one form of art, what would it be? Drawing, paint, and styling clothes or doing hair? I got that question from my mama. That was a good one. She said she was going to tie me up with that one. Okay, okay, okay. I was going to initially say styling somebody from head to toe because I feel like um, I can express myself in that way. Like for somebody else, you know, create, do their hair, create an outfit for them, style them, you know, jury pieces, things of that sort, or create pieces for them. So, uh, what is one form? Also, too, I'll probably say just art or drawing, because I've always loved drawing. I was going to say hair. That is a hard one. You knocked me up, Mom. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like that say drawing because I feel like if I say styling somebody from head to toe like that could be one so I feel like either styling somebody from head to toe and if that's kind of like you know semi cheating I'll say just drawing what song describes your mood at the time Ooh. I was I was gonna say um hill by Pip Millet, I think that's how you pronounce it. Hill by Pip Millet, or but right now I'm really feeling Shea Universe 111. Right on time, right on time. Yes, that's the move right now. Shea Universe, right on time. 111. What is an outlet for you? An outlet for me is really what I'm doing now. Um, just creating and yeah, create as far as like art, whether that's fashion, doing hair, going to the park, being in nature, um, a good conversation. I love a good conversation. I'm not one for small talk. So yeah, part, drawing, creating, sewing, um, doing hair, making jewelry, um, just being creative and expressive. So that's a good outlet for me.
last three, last three, last three. Yes, it's so good to be back, guys. So good to be back. Get better. <laughs> three, three, three things you are grateful for. Ooh, okay. Three things I am grateful for. I am grateful to have breath in my body. So I am grateful for a healthy mind, body, and soul. I am grateful for the things that I have and have yet to receive. And I am grateful for love. Yes. I'm grateful for love. I'm grateful for the things that I have and have yet to receive. And I'm grateful for healthy mind, body, and soul. Let's do it. Let's do it. What would you tell your 16-year-old self? Okay. What would I tell my 16-year-old self? Stay true to yourself and you can do anything you put your mind to. You saw it, so you can do it. That's what I would tell my 16-year-old self. Let's take a sip to that. Cheers. No, she proud. I know she proud. Are you fully committed to doing what you love? Ooh, this would be the last question. For the most part, I do feel like I am doing more of what I love. That's what I will say. I am doing more of what I love, but could I be doing it more consistently? Yes. And that just comes with discipline. And right now I'm just heavily disciplining myself and just incorporating that more and more into my daily life. Oh, yes. It's about to get dark. And that's just that. But I'm probably about to close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been real. Oh. Let's finish the glass. Last little sip. Okay, it's been real, y'all. Let me know how y'all like these sipping sessions and leave some ideas and stuff or videos that you will want to see next. I really enjoyed filming this, and this is now going to be like a new little series that I want to incorporate onto my channel. I hope you guys like it. So, yeah. Peace, love, dopeness. I'm out, baby. What's good? Because hmm, what happened? Honestly. Just copy the flex. They waiting on my new shit to drop. Where the fuck the toilet at? Sleeping on me crazy shit. Y'all thought I wasn't gon' double back. This life shit here amazing. I'm thanking God for where the fuck I'm at. Don't call if it ain't about the rats. I don't fuck with all that chitter chat. 